right, spark plug time. I just want to put new spark plugs in this thing. Uh, let's check out what we got. NGKs. These are Suzuki factory specification. They should be the exact same laser iridium plug I have in there now. 7,500 mile interval. 0.031 to 0.035. So here's a 0.035. That's the max allowed. Oh man. That's right there. Ooh. Whoever gaps these things. Crazy consistent. They're dead on. Okay, so we know we're not over-gapped and we're not under-gapped because a 3.2 fit and a 3.5 don't fit. Gap's good. Let's just commence with replacement. Seat. Okay, seat. And we don't need to remove the gas tank. We just need to lift the gas tank. Say good. Okay. And lift and separate. Okay. 10 millimeter. I know about you guys, but I never put my kickstand up, even though it'd be nice to have it out of the way, because I'm always afraid the moment I go to remove this, I'm gonna forget and it's gonna fall on its side. So I leave it down. Okay, remove the screws, remove the bracket. this to get some angles all up in there um, oh we need our ashes of another invention it's in the secret tool drawer for motorcycle this holds a gas tank up okay yep. ball here right here Ta-da. All right, now intake has to come up. Um, and we don't need to take the intake apart. Like all these screws don't need to come off. We just need to pull it off and get it up out of there. So we need a couple things. Extendo, which by the way, I made this Extendo and I talked about it in another video, but you can buy long Allen wrenches like this, T-handle, real nice for like $3 on Amazon.com. I'm sure that's a worthy investment. And I'll probably invest in some T-handle Allen wrenches, being that this seems to be a common activity. Okay, I'm gonna loosen all the intake throttle body clamps. Uh, no gas tank hoses have to come off, but all of the air filter box hoses do, and electrical connectors. But this really isn't that big of a job. Uh, it's maybe a little intimidating if you're ripping into your bike the first time, but just take it easy, go slow, think about what you're doing. Um, Watch some YouTube videos and you'll get good at it. Practice. Okay, uh, those are loose. Now I need to center. The very middle of the intake has 
a screw that runs right into the middle of the thing and it holds it down. Holds the back of the air filter down. There you go. So that has to be loosened. Okay. Let me just leave the nut. I think I left the nut in there, unless it came up just now. No, it's in there. Okay. And now I gotta remove our hoses. A lot of these can just be done by hand. I don't know if there's anything you need to do. Uh, yeah, this is the vacuum hose that goes to the throttle bodies. It's attached at the top to a pretty fragile plastic doohickey. So give it support when you're going to take it off. If you can see that. They just need support. Um, clip. It's a clip on the top of that same plastic doohickey. Okay. That's free. This is free. Over here. This hose. Man, this job would be minutes long if this was an old bike. Right? I'm gonna have to take off all this stuff. All right, I think that's it. Oh, one more. Air pump. Uh, all right. All right, that should be it. And this is a matter of lift. Oh, I forgot the one in the front. 10 millimeter, bolt in the front. It will not move without that taken off. See that thing? It's right on the front. Duh. Okay. All right. Air box is free. Not a bad time to open it up and inspect your air filter if you haven't done that in a while. All right, there's the throttle bodies. Our spark plugs are gonna be under each one of these coils. And, looks really clean. Now, a really good idea though, at this point, if you can, use an air compressor and blow it out. All right, so I'm gonna take a clean towel, cover up my throttle bodies, and I'm gonna use an air compressor to gently blow in around the spark plug. Oh, you see those rocks flying up? So underneath this little rubber flap, if you live on a dirt road like I do, you can get rocks sitting on top of your spark plugs. And as soon as you pull those, I should say, um, on top of the coils and around under this rubber area, and as soon as you pop these out, uh, the rocks fall down in the channel around the spark plug. And as soon as you pull the spark plug out, you have rocks in your combustion chamber. I don't think that's a good thing. So, we gotta remove a coil, one at a time. I just work on one cylinder at a time. I don't try to get uh, multiples out, just one at a time. Inspect it, looks good. And now we're gonna reach down that hole and loosen that up. This is where the air goes in when you open the throttle. Okay. Air and fuel go through here into the engine and out through the exhaust pipe. But when the air and fuel go into the engine, down in this deep hole, you see that deep hole? Mm -hmm. Right there? It's really warm. Right there? That's it. That at the bottom is, is the spark small? plug. Is it small? Yeah, yeah I'll show you. So I'm gonna stick this tool down in there yeah, and remove the old spark plug and put new ones in. What are the new, what are spark plugs for? Um, they ignite the air and fuel mixture. 
and this extension is a little too long. So we got a hold of it. What we got to do is loosen. I just kick the camera, or punch the camera. There we go. Spark plug's loose. All right, let's take this off. Twist, twist, twist. Now that it's loose, I can't pull it out because I don't have a spark plug head that has a rubber grabber on it. But I do have this special what tool. Is that? It is that looks funny. for tough positions on spark plugs. And it's a funny, long, flexible <laughs> rod with a rubber head on the end of it that allows you to grab the spark plug and pull it out. When it's tricky? Yeah. Did you get it? Is that the spark plug? Yeah. It's small. Yes, it is. That would be like a small, a real plug. It's, That's cool. This is the new one? That's the old one. Let's look at the color. So what do you see on the color though? What color it's, is that? It's hot. It's brown. It's a little tan, isn't it? It's tan. Which means a slightly uh, rich mixture, but I'm glad about that. I'd it used to be bone white. And um, I've worked on it some. And these are the other new ones? Yeah, and you gotta be super careful because you see that needle on the end? Mm -hmm. And this electrode that comes up? Mm -hmm. They are perfectly gapped a distance apart from each other that they need to be. So we're gonna be really gentle with those and not drop them. And we're gonna put these new ones in you to replace something? them. So I just pulled it out. Nice. And now what I'm gonna do is put it in here and lower it back down in the hole. You wanna see? Okay, back in the hole. Let's see if it's, oh, it's attached. See, I started it threaded in the hole. So it's down in there. Now we're gonna put this back on it. Uh, yeah, it is, because it feels hot. Yeah, that's the combustion chamber. That's where all the heat is. It feels really nice. That's where explosions occur. So we tighten this down by fingers, so using her hand, okay. until it stops. Is the camera recording my voice? Yes, it's Let's recording see. everything. Okay. And we turn it down, turn it down. Still turning. Ooh, I think I hit bottom. I did. All right, now, this is the cool part. Your spark plug has a very specific... Where are you going? I think it's 11 Newton meters. 11 Newton meters? Uh-huh. Nice. There's a whole list of torque tightening torques. What? Spark plug, 14, wait, no. Yeah, I'm right, 11 Newton meters, which isn't very tight. So let's grab our- This? Nope, nope, wait. Right, I don't really know too much. That's okay, that's why you're hanging out. This. This is Newton meters. Newton meters. So 11, that number, it's a little dirty. 10, just a barely above that is 11. And that's what we're gonna tighten this spark plug to. I wonder if you can see that. Let's see, I'm trying to get to 11 Newton meters here. Oh, we're there. We are so there. Oh, we're there? All right, yes. that's torqued. Now, that's nice. here's the thing. Here's the thing. We gotta put the coil back on. Okay? That's this. This is the thing that shoots electricity through it. It's like a big diode. It saves up electricity. And then when the time is right. It's not shooting at me. No. When the time is right, it fires the spark plug. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. And Wait, do we replace spark plugs because the pointy end gets. It gets worn out. Fine. You mean on the old one I took out? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it can be imperceptible. Uh, okay, so that coil is now pushed in. All right, so we pull off coil number what do you two. Mean, though? Wait, there's, there's three more spark plugs you have to do right yeah, now? It's a four cylinder, yes. Oh, wow, there's a lot of spark plugs in this thing. Well, it's just a four cylinder. That's actually not that big of an engine, it's tiny. How much is there usually? The van has six. Whoa. And um, car? my car has six. And then there are V8s. There's eight cylinder engines. Oh. 
There's also uh, V12s. There's a V10. All right. So now we need to fish out this next one. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> you nut. All right, look at this one. All right, let's take it. This is, you know what my dad taught me? Listen, the spark plug is the window into the combustion are they chamber. Both, are they both bad? No, well, they're both old. So this one's you. not quite as brown. Like this one has a little, well, no, it? actually, they, I cut it. I don't know. Oh. Actually, they look exactly the same. That's good. That means that both cylinders are burning exactly the same. Good. Is that good? Yeah, that's super excellent, good. Excellent. So now we're going to tighten this one up in the hole. Give me that. No, that's a fidget spinner. No touchy. It's a fidget spinner. You're fired. Get out. <laughs> All right, now i got to lower this one down into the hole. That's not a fidget spinner. It's a tool. It looks like it's called a, a tri wrench. It actually looks like a pack. It says pack tool. It's a pack tool. Park. All right, tightening. That's 11. Now this is number three cylinder. Actually, it's probably number two cylinder, but it's the third one we're doing because I think they're numbered one, two, three, and four. However, you just did it. This is the third. Yeah, it doesn't matter which order I do them in. I'm just on the third spark plug. So, so that's loosened. <laughs> All right, that one's loose. Okay, it's loose. That's good. It's very good. We're gonna fish it with the fishing hook. Ta da! And then you got it. And then we read, and it looks exactly the same as the others. I, the I just put a little tension on it so I don't have to turn it as much with the torque wrench. Good, good, good. Is, is it in? Almost. There we go. Okay. Spark plugs torqued. Now we got one more. One more. Uno mas. Bless you. Bless you. All right. So, one more Do you do coil. little spark plugs? Throw them in the garbage. Can I keep one as a souvenir? Uh, sure. I'm going to take a picture of them, though, as a souvenir. Uh, I wanted to keep them as a souvenir because I, I want to keep one as a souvenir because just to you can remember. first video. And I appreciate it. I remember being it. with you today. I appreciate it. Watching you and kind of helping you. Um, I appreciate it. I don't really think it's I'm glad you came down to visit me. But whether you know it or not, you're probably learning something yeah. about spark plugs and engines. So, what does the spark do? What does the spark plug do? It burps out gasoline and animals. <laughs> <laughs> burps out gasoline. <laughs> Remember, fire. remember this <laughs> close <laughs> this is a coil right mm -hmm. remember we talked about what it does it mm -hmm. saves up electricity and then it fires it down into the spark plug like firing a gun yeah, yeah. It shoots but it shoots electricity and once that electricity like travels to the spark plug it gaps remember it shoots across like static electricity and yeah. ignites the air and yeah Yep, the air and gas pushes the piston down, which turns the crankshaft. I don't think the gas in there smells good. Yeah, it does. It does? Yeah. I thought gas smelled horrible. Gasoline? I like the smell of gasoline. You like the smell of skunks, and you don't <laughs> like the smell of gasoline? Well, I do. <laughs> I just don't remember what it smells like. I love the smell of gasoline now. I forgot. My friend always said that skunks smelled like a bag of rubber bands. That's what he says. All right, let's check this one. I think it smells great. Let's check. We got one more to check. Joshua. What? We have four consistently burning cylinders. I'm pretty excited. Hey, let me look at this one. Sorry. All right. No, no worries. No, yeah, no, I'm kidding. All right. That one started. Now, we're going to torque it down. All right. I bet you're going to edit me out of the video. No way. <gasps> totally leaving you in. All right, so the fourth spark plug is seated, and I'm going to put a little torque pressure on it 
just a little bit. And then put our torque wrench on it. You guys ready to go to bed soon, huh? Okay. Wanna say hi? Hi. Right here. Hi. Wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> All right. Where's Ethan? Oh, he's so upstairs. You okay? Oh my god. Um, yeah. He's he's um he's taking a bath. You're close. You're doing good. Or is yeah. It... Now I got it. Good. Yep. Is it in? It is. It finally is torqued correctly. Can I put correctly. this back in the thing? Wait. Let's put this. Can I use this and put it back in the? Let me do that. Aww. It's a little tough. Why? You want to try? Here, sure. put it back in. Hang on, you gotta wiggle it in carefully. There you go. And then push it down until you hear it click. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, it's hung up. What do you mean it's hung up? It was hung up on this screw. Wait. All right, those are fully seated. Now, here's the cool part. Give it to me, I'll eat it. How come you're doing that? Do your teeth feel funny? Do your huh? teeth feel funny? I just like doing it. Oh, okay. Just something new you discovered? Tank. Gas tank? It's just a support for the gas is it tank. A gas tank or the gas intake? All right. I didn't understand what you said. Because I couldn't hear. Well, it could, but I thought you said gas intake. All right. I'll go in a sec. So we just do everything in reverse order. Log it down. Start it up. And listen to it purr. At least that's the hope. Uh, super long Allen wrench. Yank, yank, yank. If you ever start your bike up after doing this and there's a really loud exhaust note, it's this hose right here. That's the air pump. And it's basically a wide open hole into your exhaust system. Okay, clips are good. Clean. Other side. All right, hose, clip, okay, clip, up top, okay, and then the vacuum hose, and this one for all the throttle bodies. I'm going to do a quick spin, see if it starts. Deep note. Sounds good. Smoother. Really does sound smoother. I like it. Yeah, that's noticeably uh, a little more crisp than it was. Well, you know, we're not used to it. We have a 100,000 mile spark plugs on our cars. And uh, I'm no longer used to changing spark plugs every 7,500 miles, but on old cars we did. I don't know, 10, 12,000 miles maybe. And so long I don't remember. They say if your engine's running funny, feels funny, do start with a tune-up. 
Make sure air filter, oil, spark plugs, everything's fresh. And start tearing it apart, unless you know there's something seriously wrong. It's just if it's a little off, give it a tune-up. When's the last time you changed the air filter? When's the last time you changed spark plugs? Just go through it all. And then diagnose. Oh man, I did scratch it right there. You know what that's gonna use? Magic marker. No, is that cheating? That's a simple touch up. Oh well, the bike's loved and well used. Seat. <clears throat> All right, seat's on, almost. That really is it, guys. I hope I helped. I hope you enjoyed my son visiting. My daughter stopped by to say hi. And uh, I hope you give it a chance to see for yourself that it's not too difficult to change your own spark plugs. Oh, yeah. All right. A little bit helps.